with Aaron Drake and he's uh, been uh, making some amazing mouthpieces for me um, and um, we just have, have progressed to another level now and uh, the last couple of days I, I've been playing a couple of these mouthpieces that he made for me and they're the great thing about them is that they're amazingly consistent I mean there are slight variations with, with each one and they're kind of some of them has to do with just like nuance factors like tone and ease of playing but we're talking like at a three to four percent range of variability and uh, uh, once again the the consistency of these mouthpieces is, is amazing and just generally overall I find these mouthpieces ex extremely responsive um, and flexible and I can kind of go everywhere on the horn, and uh, they there's an incredible nuance in uh, that's available in texture and uh, uh, attack, uh, and we're just kind of getting into that last little. Well, yeah, it'd be nice if we had a little more of this, a little more of that, but mm -hmm. overall, I mean, I'm very happy with these mouthpieces, and especially the work we've done the last yeah. couple of days. Well, this is a unique opportunity, and her description and everything, we're, we're really zeroing in on some interesting things. You know? Well, I think speaking specifically to the, the point of the sound, yeah. I mean, you know, you and I talked yesterday about the fact that I visualize the sound um, as like dropping a pebble mm -hmm. into the water, mm -hmm. and there's the, the point of impact, which is the fundamental mm -hmm. pitch. And I call that literally the point of mm. the sound. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that point, you have no pitch reference. Uh -huh. that, that fundamental is where your pitch is located. And all those colors that radiate out as, as a pebble does in the water when the, when the ripples radiate out, that's analogous to sound waves right and in those sound waves are all the overtones mm -hmm. and and they don't go like this vertically they go like that mm -hmm. and so you need all those colors mm -hmm. to give you the nuance and the character but unless you have that point that fundamental that attack you're you're lost I mean I am right. I'm lost so once again the great thing about these mouthpieces is that they really define the point and they have you know varying degrees of character right and different kinds of character in the overtones and the way the overtones surround the point yes and and you know even though it's kind of abstract in a way it really gets to if you'll pardon the expression the point <laughs> of what we're trying to get to right right so you know point 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 yes and it's oh, well, so, you know, that's cool and it was an effort so that's a good indication. Right, so the that. idea is get that equipment out of your way and be able to think only exactly. purely about sound and music and yeah, expression yeah. and all the other beautiful things that yeah. have come through your music for all all these years. And uh, well, and I and and I, I have to say just because it I'm kind of marvel at it that you are still making that beautiful sound that you've always made. And it's well, like, thanks to you. Yeah, well, I mean, it really, I mean, I'm and I'm not just you know giving you strokes here. I'm, I'm like, this, honestly, this is important to me because without this, it becomes difficult to the point of, like, I can't do it's this. It's a struggle. It becomes it's a, a struggle. struggle. Yeah. And as much as I love music and have loved music all my life, when it gets to be, because it's enough of a struggle, yeah. you know, being on the road and going through all the bullshit that you have to go mm -hmm. through on the road, yeah. but then to have to fight your instrument, yeah. you know, it, the, the, on the horn, mouthpiece, the reed, yeah. all this stuff is just, after a while, it's just, man.